The 2012 Hong Kong auction season has kicked off, with art collectors, jewellery hoarders and wine connoisseurs flocking to galleries such as Sotheby's and Christie's to battle it out for prized possessions. According to the Wall Street Journal, over five days, Sotheby's Hong Kong store put hundreds of paintings, antiques, jewellery and wine on the block during its annual spring auction. A total of 2,780 art pieces were sold off, at a net worth of $310 million. Chinese buyers enthusiastically snapped up works from their favourites, such as contemporary artist Zhao Wouqi and wine brand Domaine de la Romane Conti. It's estimated mainland Chinese occupy between 40 to 50 percent of Hong Kong auction bidders, a huge increase compared to five years ago, when the number was just 4 to 5 percent. Sotheby's contemporary Asian art sales saw significant turnovers. 20th century Chinese art reeled in nearly $33 million, contemporary Asian art $27 million, and modern and contemporary Southeast Asian paintings $12 million. Of the three departments, painter Zhang Xiaogang's Bloodline Big Family, Big Family No. 2, sold for an astonishing $6.69 million, making it the most expensive art piece to be auctioned off from the three departments. Additionally, 316 art pieces were sold from the Fine Chinese Paintings Collection for a total of $60.3 million, twice as much as predicted before the auctions took place. The most expensive piece sold from the department was a pair of rare gold screens by painter Qi Bai Shi that went for a whopping $9 million, much higher than the expected $2.6 million. Other departments selling big included wine, jewellery, watches and porcelains. Classic Bordeaux, Burgundy and Champagne were auctioned off to a total of $8.2 million, with the high-end 1988 Domaine de la Romanée Conti topping the auctions at $204,167 sale price. Jewellery recorded a $64.25 million total, with an 8-carat emerald cut vivid blue and white diamond platinum ring going for over $12.5 million, making it the world's second most expensive blue diamond ring auctioned off in the world. Watches turned over nearly $13 million, while porcelain reaped in a near $99.5 million turnover to close the auction. Don't go anywhere because when we get back, we'll take a look at Hong Kong's emerging role in the global auction market. That's up next.